Okay guys, another fantasy fun day here. I have uh, two other Batmobiles in my collection, but it wouldn't be much of a collection without the very first Batmobile. So uh, this is, I think, from something called the uh, Entertainment, Hot Wheels Entertainment or Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment. Although I see none of that on the packaging. I'm not sure where it's listed that way. But uh, here we are, 2012, so it's kind of an old model now. But I looked at all the various kinds. The main line, it doesn't have the wheels that look like this. These wheels look the most accurate, I think, to the real car here. Um, also, I, this has the printing on the, the red paint on the front and the, the back, whereas the, uh, you know, the main line doesn't, I guess. Uh, there is one that's even better than this. It's some sort of collector's club, but that thing was over $200 or something on eBay, so uh, I'm okay with this one. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, it's a one-off. The history of this was uh, George Barris, who is known for making uh, dune buggies and uh, various modified cars. He was approached to uh, make the Batmobile, and they, the studios only gave him three weeks to do so. And uh, he, he had actually purchased a concept car made by Ford called the Lincoln Futura. And that Futura was actually hand-built by Ghia Body Works in Turin, Italy for around uh, $250,000, which is about $2.5 million in today's money. And George Barris bought the car after it did, you know, the, the car show circuit. He bought it from Ford for only $1, according to Wikipedia. So he had this car just sitting in his uh, workshop doing nothing. And with a three-week deadline, he just thought it'd be easier to take this concept car and make that into the Batmobile than to, than to try to make something from scratch. And uh, I guess that's the story behind it. And you can see in the photo here, this is the Lincoln Futura, which I know there's a resin model of. Uh, it's like a pretty expensive red resin model. I see it on AliExpress. I'm wondering if these guys intend to make a Batmobile later. But, uh, I don't know, significant changes would have to be made to that mold, so maybe not. Anyways, I, I think you can hopefully see some sort of resemblance between the Lincoln Futura and the uh, George Barris modified version. Okay, so, yeah, let's see what we got here. Yeah, like I said, I picked this one over the other uh, Batmobiles because these wheels look very similar to those cnc wheels there. And they don't have the, the Bat logo in the middle, but I'm not sure if any of them do. Okay, so the gloss black. Uh, I do like the matte black versions that are out there, but again, if you look at the picture of the real car, it is gloss black. Okay, so I think the real car is red parachute, so that's one thing lacking here. But uh, what can you do? Again, I'm not going to spend $200 on on the, on the model here. Not this, not a Hot Wheels at least. Okay, so this side, no problems there. Mm, a little black is missing here. I'm not sure if you can see that. In fact, let me get the light, light angle better here. So, yeah, now it's a little more visible. It seems like the, there's like red shining through, which is kind of weird. I don't know if they painted this whole car red and then painted black after, or painted black and then paint some red and some red spray there. Not sure, because again, here, if you look, look at all this red overspray. I'm guessing it's overspray. It was originally probably painted black. That's not very good. That's not very good. Okay, well, I mean, it's a Hot Wheels, right? This thing wasn't too expensive when it was brand new, so I guess uh, I guess it's acceptable, right? What do you guys think? Are you Hot Wheels fans, do you think this is a that's acceptable or not? I'd be curious what your opinions are, because I don't have much experience with the Hot Wheels brand. Uh, I've got some ribbed uh, seats there, but it's just in this raw, <laughs> raw silvery plastic. I might have, I don't know if I want to modify this model or not, but these, these should be chrome. There should be some chrome up here and some red on these little antennae kind of things. There should be some chrome trim around the windows there. But it's riveted together, so tough call. I'm not sure if I want to modify it or just leave it the way it is. Well, we'll see. Anyway, so uh, I guess that's it. I mean, there's not too much else to talk about. Um, other than the fact that I found some uh, report that uh, Barrett Jack Jackson Auction, this thing sold for $4.2 million back in 2013. And uh, maybe it's switched hands even since then for more money. So it's a solid investment, obviously, to uh, be buying the original Batmobile, of which there's only one. Uh, okay, so 
the two other Batmobiles I have, the first one I got was this uh, Bandai Hot Wheels, the Charo Wheels uh, Batmobile 1989, which is the one I'm most familiar with. You know, I, I watched uh, that movie, Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. And although I've never actually watched a Batman in animated series, I just love the design of this car. It's, <laughs> it's so angular, yet bat-like. Although it's totally out of scale. I 3D printed my own wheels here, by the way. This is a Hot Wheels. And I repainted it, too, because it had some flames on it, which didn't make sense to me. So, actually, I'm pretty sure none of these are 164 scale. If anyone is, it probably would be the classic one, would be the closest. I feel like this one would be a lot longer in real life, a lot bigger. And also, I mean, this one is just way too small because if you look at the cockpit, there's no way two people are sitting in there at 164 scale. I really don't think two people will be sitting in this cockpit at 164 scale either. So, but uh, you know, they're fantasy cars, so in the realm of uh, sci-fi movies and cartoons and funny 60s TV shows, uh, I'm okay with it. My trifecta of Batmobiles is complete. These are the ones I really wanted. I don't think, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any others to be honest with you. Okay guys, well, I'm gonna leave you with a little uh, quotation from the original TV series. Commissioner, Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon says, what weighs six ounces sits in a tree and is very dangerous? Robin replies, a sparrow with machine gun. Okay, I gotta fly, like a bat.